Now, Kenya Airways has reported its first operating profit in six years at $79.8 million for the 2023 fiscal year. Here's a summary of the airline's performance in the 12 months ending in December. Passenger traffic went up by over a third, 35% to 5 million people with a cabin factor. That's the percentage of available seat capacity that's taken up by paying passengers of 78.4%. That number is important because it was above the average in the Middle East and Africa, according to International Air Transport Association data. Now, those two trends helped to raise revenues by 53% to $1.35 billion. Costs went up at a slightly slower pace, up 37% year-on-year to $1.27 billion. Finance costs fell marginally by 2%, but at $250 million, it was more than enough to push the company into a 40% smaller net loss of $171.8 million. Now, earlier today, I spoke to Alan Kilavuka. He's a Kenya Airways Managing Director. I asked him where plans for setting up a Pan-African airline group stand now that the sale of 51% of South African Airways to the Takatsu Consortium have been called off. So it's really not taking away market share or, or fighting anybody, but, but really to be able to provide Africans with an option that connects them effectively uh, from one hub or from one country to another. And uh, to your point, yes, we have been continuing to talk with, uh, with uh, South African Airways, both from a governmental perspective and also from an airline to airline perspective. And what we have decided to do is to look at the low hanging fruits between the two airlines and to see what we can do now. The discussion we're having about the Pan-African Airline Group is complex. It will take longer than we had originally anticipated, particularly because of what was happening on the South African side and also what is happening on our side. But we believe in the story. We believe that it is important for us as, as African carriers to come together and consolidate the industry. Because the way it is fragmented right now is extremely difficult for us to scale up. And that is a whole uh, proposal, the value proposition of having the Pan-African Airline Group. So we're going uh, right, right ahead with this uh, uh, proposal. It is going to take time. Uh, we had anticipated that we will finalize it in 2024. That's not going to happen in 2024 because of what has been happening in the meantime. But we hope that uh, uh, by next year we'll start, we'll, get, we'll provide some clarity on what the roadmap is to get to the Pan-African Airline Group.